Budgeting Tracy. Welcome back. Well, there's cash out, so it must be we're going to end with a cash stuffing. We have our Budget Mom wallet with all of our envelopes in there. So I'm a bit of a mess. We are really far behind. I never did the 416 paycheck budget. Um, and I had to figure out what was going to happen with the money. So we are going to play catch up. And we're going to do a weekly check in, not in this video. I'll do it in a different video because it's going to be too long if we do it all in one video. So the paycheck is for April 16th. So our rollover was $46.84. Um, my paycheck was $873.05. Um, the company I work for is uh, contributing more to our medical. Um, so this is what my paycheck is going to be normally with no overtime or anything. So we add these together and I drop off the change for a little bit of savings. So that brings us to 919. My car insurance, I ended up hanging on to um, and not paying um, last paycheck because I had to put minutes on my phone and then the extra minutes turned up. And that's a, there was a whole thing. You can go um, check that out in my last video. Um, we need to put gas in my car. We're going to put $45 worth of gas in my car. We're not going to do a car wash. I've already obviously withdrawn the money and I went back to my normal ATM. So it was $3.25. I went ahead and I just wrote down all of the bills. Um, I started a new business adventure and I was using my corn and credit card. That's the one that I use and then pay off and then use and pay off and trying to build my credit. So the balance left on that was $273.13. So we're going ahead and paying that off and bringing it back down to a zero balance. So if you add all these together, again, I round up, the bills are $453. Subtract that from the income, we're left over with $466. So here's our envelopes. Food and eating out is $40. Pets is $40. Um, household is 20, miscellaneous and fun is 20, and then a planner budget. I'm not giving myself anything for right now. So I withdrew $120 from the bank. So this is a lot more um, than I used to withdraw. Um, I used to only with, be able to withdraw $60, and that included Christmas sinking fund. So paying off bills, money's going a little bit further. <clears throat> so Subtract the 120 from the 466, or it's right here, 466. That brings us down to 346. So we're putting $100 into our $5,000 savings challenge. I'm doing that with girls at work. Once it gets to $5,000, I'm going to deposit it all on my uh, Jeep. And um, bank won't really take extra payments and they're not really local. My bank's not local either, but once I throw that $5,000 towards the loan, I'm going to get a hold of my bank and see if I can go ahead and transfer this loan to my bank and then I can just pay it online. <clears throat> $25 for Christmas. I really want that Magnolia bed frame. My room is coming along pretty well, so I'm doing $100 to that. 25 to the emergency fund, 25 to house projects. Total sinking funds is 275. Subtract that what left over brings us to $71. And we're just going to roll that $71 over. So that brings us down to a zero because it's a zero based budget. So let's go ahead and do our envelopes and sinking funds. We'll do the cash envelopes first. Let's scoot this off over here. So we have our money. Take all of our envelopes out. Bring in the calculator. <clears throat> all right, so food and eating out. This is if I need to stop and get something to eat or, or 
sorry, if I want to get lunch with the girls, which I actually did today, um, I only had $2 left in this envelope. And also if I need to stop and pick up something on my way home. So my envelope is empty. Um, I only had $2 left in there. So that means there's $10 someplace. I think the girls and I got something lunch last week, but I don't remember. So anyway, we are going to be putting $40 in there. So $20, $40. And I draw lines once I put it on my um, tracker, my um, yeah, expense trackers, that's what they're called. So this is going to be deposit of $40, which is gonna leave us with $40. So we're done with that envelope. All right, households, we're gonna be putting $20 in that. And it looks like, there is, there's $20 in there already. So we're gonna add 20 to it. And again, the ATM only give me, gives me the denominations of $20. So it's four, 15, deposit $20. So that's gonna give us $40 in this envelope. Now the household envelope is done. Pets. Pets gets $40. And there's $20 in there already. So we're going to add 40. Which is going to give us 60. So 20, 40, 60. This pet envelope has never been this high. All right, miscellaneous fun is going to get $20. And like I said, I had the girls and I got lunch today, and I didn't have the whole, I needed $12. I only had $12 in my um, food eating out. Well, eating out's kind of fun, right? So I took the $10 from this. So we're depositing $20. There should be $10 in here, and there is. So that's 20, 30. All right, so that's all the cash envelopes. So um, I get, use my ATM, or yeah, my ATM card, my debit card to get um, gas in my Jeep and just do it at the pump. So it's 415, we're deposit $45. So that gives us $45 to put gas in the car. Planner, we're not doing anything. My $5,000 challenge, we are adding $100. And these are separate savings accounts at my bank. My bank allows me to do separate um, savings account all under one account. So that's going to be $1,225.75 in the $5,000 sinking challenge, savings challenge. All right, the Magnolia Bad, we're going to be putting $100 into that account. So that's going to give us $290. Deposit. All right, so $290 for my bed frame. Uh, emergency savings, we are putting $25 in here. It's going to bring us to $1,050. House projects is going to get $25. 
Oh, poop. All right, hold on. 1026 plus 25. Should have been able to do that in my head, but it is the end of the day and I've worked all day. So, good excuse, right? <laughs> All right, that's house projects, and then Christmas gets its normal fifty dollars or twenty five dollars. Sorry, so that would be two seventy five. All right, so we'll put those back in my wallet in a minute. So my. We're putting a hundred dollars in my five thousand dollar savings challenge. So I get to color in a circle. Here, let's do this one over here. All right, I don't think you guys ever got to see that whole thing before. So I was holding my phone and I think I only came up here with it. So, and it wrote, pay on my Jeep. This normally sits on my bulletin board at work. Keep me motivated. So I believe there is one more week. So here's my expense tracker. I had to add the $10 that I assuming it was lunch and wipe that out. Here's my credit card. See, I'm keeping track. And when I make the payment, I add the amount over to my expense tracker in the correct um, category. Because before when I close out my budget and do the where would my money, where, where did my money go worksheets? I was always off when there was a balance left in the credit card. So, oh, I made a payment of 273.13. Forgot to do that. So we're at a zero balance on that corn and credit card. All right. So, yes, we have another paycheck for the 30th. So, we cannot do hmm, an extra page in there that's scrap paper. We can't do any of these sheets yet. This one, this is one I was looking at. Well, it's the first paycheck and the second paycheck. Oh, you're off screen, sorry. Um. So this is the second page up. So we can do this. Here, let's go ahead and update this real quick. I have it on a sticky here because I meant to do it already. All right. So the starting balance before the first paycheck was $1,025. And the emergency fund, we added zero. So it ended with five. Zero, zero. Told you I'm the mess. I warned you ahead of time. All right. So the $5,000 challenge, we had added $100. So that brings that to, is that right? Let's check it. Oh, because I added, all right. So right. $1,100. Hmm. <clears throat> We're going to go with this amount because I had figured it out before. Oh, that's right. It's a reasonable pen. You guys understand at the end of the day and you're tired. <laughs> well, if I added $100, how is it that balance? It's not.
to my sheet says it's 1,125. I'm on my phone. I'm recording on my phone. I can't look. I'll have to check that later. And Oh, my goodness. All right. So start balance. You know what I did? No, that's not what I did either. Start balance. Added this. That. All right. So Magnolia bed, start balance 140. We added 50 with the first paycheck. See what happens when you're playing catch up? And then house projects. I took out 330.65. And then I added. 331 and then Christmas we added our 25 so Christmas will be 25002 somehow I feel these numbers are wrong 190 unless I didn't update my trackers last time Hmm. I don't know. Okay. End of the day. That's the excuse I'm going with. End of the day. All right. So we have one zero two five point seven five, and then we took three thirty sixty five to get supplies, and then we added three thirty one. So we ended with one thousand twenty six dollars and ten cents. It would be nice if I could look at my bank account on my phone and check to see if these are right. Hmm. All right. Is there anything else we need to do right now in this video? Cash, sinking funds, update the tracker. We're going to do weekly check-in, another video probably after this one. And then um, I think I'm going to try the stickers, but I'm not going to do it on this one. I meant to do this the other day. Um, we have this sheet. And I actually started filling out some of the stickers. So we will do that in a different video. All right. So that is it for April. Let me flip in papers some more. April 16th overview with the cash stuffing. All right. I will check those numbers later. <laughs> um, if you want to continue watching my craziness and not knowing what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> okay. Hi again. <laughs> Real quick. I figured it out. I'm just holding my phone. So, and I can't see what I'm doing. So this was the first paycheck. So these numbers were correct for the first paycheck. We were doing the second paycheck. So I just checked the bank, the deposits I just did, which I told you about. So these are the correct numbers. So I have not lost my mind. I was off by a week and I'm pretty sure you guys were yelling at me. It's the second week. It's the second week. So anyway, we've got one more week. <laughs> And then I've got um, sinking fun stickers from Life and Envelopes that are really cute. Much cuter than this mess that I put together on my computer. All right. So I'm not going to edit this video a whole bunch so you can guys can see what a goofball I am. All right. I will see you in the next video, which will be a weekly check-in for hopefully the right week. Okay. Bye again.